So why in the world did I return my REI quarter dome air hammock? Stick around and I'll tell you why. What's going on everyone? Robert here. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. I really appreciate it. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button down there right now so you don't miss any of the reviews and trips that I put out. But on to the subject, the REI Quarter Dome Air Hammock, a fantastic hammock. And for those of you who have been following my channel for any length of time, you know that I've used that hammock on every single trip that I have been on. And mainly, it was the only hammock I've had at the time. The one big thing that got me into the REI hammock in the first place is as I was researching it, I understood that I needed the hammock and I needed the rain fly and I needed the straps and I needed everything. And the REI hammock offered all those in one convenient package. It had the rain fly, it had the straps, it had everything, and it had the bug net. And it worked out really well at a pretty decent price point. So I picked it up as my actual first camping hammock and I've taken it to Arkansas, I've taken it to Maine, I've taken it up to the Boundary Waters in Minnesota and it's worked extremely, extremely well. I started going on more and more trips, a lot of backpacking, and I've seen a lot of other brands out there with the features that I found out that I really desired. From the big ones being removable spreader bars and also aftermarket custom spreader bars to make it a lot lighter. Uh, removable or stowaway bug nets. And the big, big reason why I switched to a new hammock is the aftermarket support. The underquilt options for these hammocks are way more extensive than what REI offered. REI only had one underquilt that was made for the hammock and that was only rated to 30 degrees. And a lot of times I find myself in a lot colder environments than that. Like right now, it's probably 20 degrees. Tonight's supposed to get down to 10. There's a lot of the white stuff on the ground and I needed warmer underquilt options. And for the aftermarket of the other brands, they got down to zero degree underquilts. They got down to 10. There was just a lot more established options out there. So I opted to return the REI hammock and I picked up something new and I'm pretty stoked about it. So which new hammock am I talking about? If you know anything about bridge hammocks, you probably know what I'm going to say because it's the most popular one out there right now. Yes, it's the War Bonnet Ridge Runner. And there's a cool story behind this particular Ridge Runner. I received this in a trade through the Hammock Forums Facebook page. And not only did I get the hammock itself, but I also got a 20 degree Lynx under quilt. And this one is made by War Bonnet itself. I'll probably end up getting a zero degree here in, in just a little while. But from the saddlebags to the stowaway bug net and then to the lighter form factor, removable spreader bars, it hits all the check boxes for me. And I'm really, really excited about it. The fact that the new hammock compacts a lot more than the REI one did. It has the detachable spreader bars, which you could pack separately or even strap to the outside of your pack. And it's lighter. This one only weighs two pounds, 6.3 ounces, or 1,084 grams. Now, I do understand this does not come with the Rainfly, and the REI one did, but that's okay because the REI one is only really a summer Rainfly. And it offered pretty good protection, but I found myself wanting and using a bigger tarp instead. So I got a bigger one that I'm gonna use with this one, and I do have a review on that one right up here. So from here on out, this will be my primary sleep system and all my trips and in my experiences that I look forward to sharing with you. So be sure to keep checking back with our Pelton One for those videos. So that is the hows and the whys on why I switched. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like. And if you think I made the right decision or the wrong decision, let me know why down in the comments. I think I made a pretty good one. If you do like this video, feel free to check out some of the other ones I have posted over here. And I'm also uh, on Instagram as well. So if uh, you want to see some of the pictures of the trips that I'm taking, you can follow my Instagram right up here. But I appreciate you watching. And if you get a chance, get outside and enjoy this awesome world. And we'll see you on the next one.